Why'd you kill him? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Listen. I know you've been through a lot, but you need to help me understand what happened. I'm here to help you, but you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. What? What are they going to do to me? They're going to destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your biocomposition. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger, 
frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. I know you're scared and lost. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me and you'll feel better. Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. You leave me no choice. Access its memory. I know what happened. What the fuck is it destroying itself? All right, end of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry.
freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? <laughs> a homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look. This is a convenient store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. are you doing? Put that back right now. Shit. I'm sorry, but we're desperate. All right. Just take it easy. Listen, I'm really sorry. But you have to get down on the floor. Take whatever you want. Just don't kill me. doing you can't do that it's wrong it's going to be all right alice It looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice.
It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. Chocolate ball? Are you hungry? Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. It knew deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner as if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? 
I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. Maybe they're trying out a new form of red ice. You really need to Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. 
My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! In new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay?
If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Two hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and... Hey! Don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.